My mum isn't a great grey hunk. She hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils round trees. Quite difficult, isn't it? Um, I'm not saying you have to adapt every uh, book that you tell, but um, I do think that a lot of the Julia Donaldson books, like this one, The Monkey Puzzle, The Stick Man, um, so many books that she's done that are really fantastic and they do have great rhymes but I think for ESL learners if we want to help them acquire more language um, then we need to include more repetition and um, language that we hope that they are going to acquire. So um, here's an example of how um, I'd adapt this. So I'd, we'd say like, no 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 that's not my mum that's an elephant. My mum isn't grey. My mum hasn't got a trunk. My mum has got a tail. Oh, a tail. I know. Come with me. So some advantages, I'm trying to get the, the has got in there. Um, some body parts, okay, so trunk, maybe less frequent. And um, tail. Um, but, and the butterfly says every time, like, I know. Come with me. Um, and so again, look here, no, 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 that's not my mum. My mum isn't long. My mum has got legs. She has got legs. I know, come with me. So um, you can see how just having a think before you're reading a book like this um, and just thinking about how you can get in more repetition and language that I think that you, you know you want your young learners to acquire is really uh, worth thinking about. I've actually got I've got a simplified version of this that I have adapted, and there's a free um, storytelling script for this one on the website, and I've got a lot of activities that um, you can download that um, help bring some of this language to life in the Monkey Puzzle Bundle. Um, so take a look on the website and have a look and let me know what you think. All right, thank you.